Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching Stranger Things Season 2, Episode 1. So we're finally starting Season 2. Yep. Very much looking forward to it. I thought Season 1 was very strong. Yeah. I thought it ended as strong as it started. And it was just really consistent and really intriguing. Mm -hmm. But it also left a little bit at the end for you to like, just a want sprinkle, more. just a sprinkle to want more. Yeah, but it did a really good job, you know, in eight episodes, we fell in love with many characters. That's the thing, it was only eight episodes and I felt like we went on a massive journey. Yeah, I think it was really well paced. I love the pacing personally, it kept me engaged every episode. It managed to include a lot of history and backstories on each character without sort of dragging on or taking away yeah. from the central focus of the main story. And I feel like we got backstories at just the right times. Like Hop was literally the last episode, I'm pretty sure. Or His second backstory? Yeah, last episode. Yeah, I think towards the last couple, I think. I remember yeah. exactly. But yeah, we just it, it was great, man. So many good flushed out characters. So much more I want to see from them. And it gave mm -hmm. you enough, but like leaves you thinking, okay, I can get a lot more out of these characters. Yeah. We are excited for season two, especially because of how we left season one. We've left Will. Everyone's kind of, you know, trying to get on with their lives after everything they've all been through. But Will is dealing with some of the aftermath, I guess, from being from in the upside down. Well, it looks like being exposed to the upside down too much yeah. has left him with some kind of sickness. I don't know. I don't know if he's like, it looks like he's sort of almost halfway between two worlds. He's yeah. seeing both of them whilst... Which reminds me more of the, in the analogy... The flea and the acrobat. Yeah, the flea was... No, the acrobat was in the middle. The flea was on the other side, wasn't it? Other way around. I keep... I you, forget it, man. You're so bad at this analogy. I've told you so many times. It's... The acrobat is on top and he's in our world. And the flea can either go our world, like in the middle or underneath. Okay. So it looks like... I feel like he's the acrobat. Mm -hmm. That the one that can sort of be in between both worlds. You mean the flea. <laughs> No, dude. The flea, the flea, hang on. One of them actually can go to the other side. One yeah, of them the can only go in between. I remember the analogy. No, you yes. Don't remember. There was one that could pass in, in the, sit in the middle between, kind of like L. That's what L was. L was the one that could sort L's of. That's the flea. Because I'll tell you why you're wrong. Because last episode, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, they were mentioning Will and Barb and they're saying they're the flea that can go on the other side. But then obviously they can be on the upside as well. Yes. After they went to the other side, that's different. But when we saw Will literally standing in, in the normal world and in the same moment flickering between darkness, all I'm saying is, my interpretation, mm -hmm. I feel like that he's in that analogy. I remember some reference towards some position being where you can be sort of like in between the yeah, two worlds I remember that you've too. not fully passed over but you're in between and i'm just saying that trying under the scrutiny of pudgy well do you think that that uh, your boy speaking <laughs> that will now with his exposure to the other side and his sickness that he's sort of like simultaneously got one foot in each world yeah almost like al which we saw yes <laughs> now you may speak that's what i was gonna say like al <laughs> Anyways, you guys let us know who's wrong and who's right. I'm, I'm fine to be wrong. That's fine. I just, that's the way that I understood it. Yep. <laughs> and you ruined my entire excitement, but we move on. <laughs> on the other hand, the other person that I guess isn't living life as normal is Hop. We know that he made a deal with the agents. We call them the agents. Um, we don't exactly know what it was. No, we don't know what that deal is yet. But, but maybe then, he's still working with them and this whole experiment. Potentially. But then we also think, we theorize that he believes that Eleven is out there somewhere. Maybe, based on him giving the food the out in the forest. So, yeah, not sure. Not sure. A few little clues were left there. L obviously seemingly is gone. Like... I think she's still alive. We think she's still alive. Yeah. Just that maybe she, I don't know, he's trapped somewhere in the Upside Down for now. Hmm. That's the only other thing that makes sense. Like she over-exaggerated her powers and, but because she, she sort of transported along with the Demogorgon or the Gob, whatever you want to call it, Demogorgon. Yeah, like they both kind of faded together. Yeah, so they must have gone somewhere. 
I don't we'll know. See. It'll be interesting to see what the focus point of this season is going to be. I think I'm excited to just see how much more they're going to expand this upside down. I'm we... still interested to see if Barb is live or not. You guys might be hating me through the screen, but yeah, dude, that's like I don't know. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. I'm, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> I'm sorry that that reaction absolutely did not pull through at all. <laughs> No, with these worlds. Oh God, you've got problems. <laughs> we really only got a very superficial understanding and look at the upside down in the first season. Yeah. So I am curious how much deeper this rabbit hole can go, how much more we can extract, and what else is out there. You know, there couldn't yeah. just be one creature. We saw eggs and stuff. There must yeah. be more. And I also feel like we don't understand the motives fully of this like agency. Yeah, why were they studying it? Why do they want 11? Yeah. it will be cool to explore that more. Thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're like in a big city right now. Is this where Hop's from? 1984. I don't remember the day we started. Neither. Damn. Damn, okay. So what's the tie-in? This is very different. I feel like it's Hop's tie-in. Like maybe when he was a cop in a big city. Yeah, that's Hop. There's our man! Oh, that wasn't Hop. Maybe it was different. I, I swear we saw him. Okay. Maybe it wasn't Hop. We're officially confused, but yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I don't know what the hell. That's I think we're, right. we're meant to be confused, dude. <laughs> Do something, Carly! Do something! Next right. There's a tunnel. Take it. Oh, I watched this tunnel be some messed up shit. Oh no. I reckon it might be like a connection to the upside down or something. Oh, that music ain't, ain't. Oh. Oh, oh, what the fuck is she doing? Tell me she's like an 11. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh. No way. Is there another one? Oh, oh shit. shit! Okay, well, there's our time. What the hell's wrong with you, Adams? The hell are you I was wondering why she was so composed. Come on! Get the hell out of here! Adam! Adam! This guy's an idiot. Like, you can't I see know. the man's like fainting. Oh shit, now that's trippy. What the f what? So she altered his mind rather than physical reality. Wow. What? Yeah. That's okay. more advanced than 11. Yeah. Oh shit. She's eight. number eight. That makes sense actually. Number 11, there must be more. Yeah. I guess I just assume they're all dead or something. I don't know. I wonder how she got out as well though. Season two. It's already started off with a bang. Or a boom, I should say. Mad Max, yet another movie we haven't seen. So reference yeah. is going to go right over our heads again. Yeah. Apologies in advance. Well, Lucas and I have six bucks total. What's your haul? Sh shit, I, I don't know yet. What do you mean you don't know yet? <laughs> Colwell! What are these people saving up for? Oh, dude, he's stealing Nancy's money. Oh, he's screwed. What the hell are you doing? She got a new look. I'll pay you back. Bye. 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 Get back here. No running in the house. Oh, this guy again. Did not miss him. As if they're allowed out at night. And the parents are okay with it. Yeah, true. <laughs> and 
And they really all just, I don't know, I can't buy into the whole we're living like normal again. Like knowing that the upside down is out there. Well, I wonder what the time difference is. Do you know this song? I love this song. So I'm gonna pick you up in two hours. That's nine o'clock on the dot, okay? Okay, okay. And if anything happens, if you need to call them, just ask them to use their phone and call home, okay? Okay, well, she's being overprotective. Hey, sweetie, mom, I have to go. Have fun. It's not too late to whip it. Joyce looks so much more normal again. It's kind of nice to see her like this. She's always had the straw in season one. I'm loving the music. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm in uncharted territory here, guys. Oh, dude. I love this out there, Kate. So you know the games, I know the music. <laughs> no, I don't know the game, but I know the arcade. Ah. I would have been here if I was born in the 80s. I guess this is what they're saving their money for, the arcade. What was your first clue? You know, whatever. I'm still top on Centipede and Dig Dug. You sure about that? Who's this guy now? He looks like an old Dustin in a way. Yeah, he does. Oh, no, 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 and I need something in return. <laughs> oh my god. Who could it possibly be? No, 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 no way. You're not getting a date with her. Mike, come on. Just get him the date. I'm not prostituting my sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. He's gonna spread his nasty ass rash to your whole family. Acne isn't a rash and it isn't contagious, you pre waste away. Oh, I'm a waste Yeah, I'll oh, go to on a date with you. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. No one else can hear it. Hey, hey guys, do you see the... Did he just cross over without even realizing? That's trippy, man. He goes in and out of it. Oh my god, poor Will. Like, he hasn't been through enough. This is next level, though. He crosses over, like, literally. No gateway or anything. Is it in his mind, though? Or physically he's maybe there. maybe that's what the intro foreshadowed for us oh shit be okay okay it's in his mind yeah wow okay that's trippy yeah i just i needed some air come on you're up on dig duck if you can trust anyone it's gonna be your friends jim uh hold on a second we need to talk. Get away from me. Okay, no. I get away from really me. You're going to want to hear get this, Jim. Trust me. Trust me. I only me. want five minutes. He hasn't changed. Multiple reports, okay, of a Russian child in Hawkins. A child? What are you talking about, a child? A girl who may have psionic abilities. But Hobbs not allowed to say anything, remember? You got five minutes, not a second more. <sighs> oh, that's where attention. I talked to a big buy ex employee who said some little girl shattered the door with her mind. I heard that story. Did you hear the one about the fat man with the beard who climbs down chimneys? <laughs> Santa. I don't know. Hop's playing so dumb, but I don't know if it's an act or not. Well, he's not allowed to, remember? He's not allowed to say anything. You promise. You want my advice? Why don't you stop bleeding those people dry and go home? Right? Look, I am not bleeding anyone. Me. Try. Go home. Yeah, that's like a warning. Like, stay away from this shit. He's trying to look out for him, yeah. It's not good. That's going to be. Just it needs some reorganizing. Uh, Me when I'm looking at your work. <laughs> I'm just gonna end up working for my dad anyway. That's not true. I don't know, Nancy. Is that such a bad thing? As insurance and benefits and all that adult stuff. And if I took it, you know, I could. Could be around for your senior year. And that's what he wants. Look after you a little bit. Make sure you don't forget about this pretty face and stuff. <laughs> And so serious. They look like they've really grown together. Yeah. More genuine now. <laughs> Far out. That was dramatic. Oh no, someone new. New people from California. He's not 
bad looking. Don't know about the hair, but you know. Who is that? I have no idea. I love how the girls chew their chewing gum in the 80s. Like, it's like really excessive. <laughs> oh, they're teasing him too? I have no idea. Ah, this must be our new student. Indeed it is. All yours. All right, hold up there. You don't get away that easy. Come on up. Don't be shy. Dustin, drum roll. Love how it goes like little crew. <laughs> All the way from sunny California, the latest passenger to join us on our curiosity voyage, Maxine. It's Max. Sorry? Nobody calls me Maxine. Ah, uh, that's the girl who beat Dustin. Oh, shit. Dustin's yeah. like... <laughs> he was so happy, but he ain't no longer. Surely, I don't know. I think too many new characters making me worried that Elle's being replaced. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Just the way that they surely. I know that symbol's from Ghostbusters, but I haven't seen it. Hey there. Hey. Do you happen to have these in any other colors? I'm not a big fan of orange. Hmm. I have to check them back. The hell? Okay then. Let's be random, but at least she's happy. Bob, I have to get back to work. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I just I can't stop thinking about you. It's crazy. I feel like a teenager. Too. Oh, man's a bit of a clinger. And about that house part in life. I really thought maybe Joyce and Hop would. That's what I thought up, too. You're, you're telling me that nice old Eugene came out here after dark and doused your field with poison. I highly doubt it. Something fishy is going on. This happening the day before Halloween when sales are peaking. That's a hell of a coincidence. I mean, it seems sauce may have to be destroyed. Could I get one more? Yeah, sure. Oh, they're hanging out together. I love it. Come and get cheap faced. I love how they're friends. That's nice. I'm glad. I can't let you sit all alone Halloween. It's just not acceptable. Well, you can relax. I'm not going to be alone. I'm going trick or treating with Will. Oh, they're so cute. I take those stupid things off. It's been like an hour. Tell me about it. And Jonathan's just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, that kind of annoys me. Completely ruined the friendship vibe. He just walked off. Oh, I really like that moment, man. But this guy needs to know some boundaries, Steve. Settle down. I think there's some foreshadowing there about their potential romance. We'll see. There's no way that's mad yeah, girls don't play video games. Girls don't play video games, I love it. I love it. And she shows up at school the day after someone with her same name breaks our top score. I mean, you kidding me? Exactly. So she's gotta be Man Max. She's gotta be. And plus she's skateboard, so she's pretty awesome. Dawson's in love. This episode is all girl about snooping through the bin. I don't know, this episode's all about the clingers. Dustin's like heads in there. there Stop. No. <laughs> I had a feeling she knew. You guys think he's okay? He's always weird when he has to go in. I don't know. He's quiet today. When he has to go in where? Does he have to go in for checkups or something? I don't know. Tell him what you felt last night. Saw. Hey, I'm gonna be there the whole time, so it's gonna be okay. Okay? Okay, so so she knows, know, maybe. Yeah. But are they going into the Hawkins lab? I don't know. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. All right, now we get into the real shit. What's really been going on? This is the lab. Sir Will, how are you? Mom, Pop, let's take a look, see what's going on here. Pop? Hmm. See, you shaved off a pound since we saw you last. Must be making room for all that Halloween candy. I mean, this guy seems a lot nicer than Dr. Brenner, to be fair. All right, so tell me what's going on with you. Tell me about this episode you had. Well, my friends were there, and then, and then they just weren't. They're just watching. 
a lot more guys are aware of it. I heard this noise, and, and so I went outside, and it was worse. How was it worse? There was this storm. Damn. So how did you feel when you saw the storm? I felt frozen. Yeah, as a mother, you would not want to hear that. I felt, I felt this evil, like like it was looking at me. Oh my god. There's something bigger out there. Well, <clears throat> what do you think the evil wanted? To kill me. That was very specific, no hesitation. To kill you? Not me. Everyone else. Oh shit. Oh, damn. The stakes. I understand what you went through last year. I get it. But those people are gone. They're gone. Okay? So if we're going to get through this, I just, I need you to realize <laughs> I'm on your side. Did they got rid of everyone in the lab? I'm so confused. Well, they all died, remember? El killed them all. I know, but there was more people. I don't think so. I think El killed all of them. No, because Hop went in the car. That wasn't Brenner's team. It's going to be okay. I love how reassuring How's Hop is. Bob the Brain. Don't call me that. Bob the Brain. <laughs> He's good. We're good. Good. I'm happy for you. Really. Hey. Things get worse. You call me first. Mm-hmm. Not Bob. Not Bob the Brain. Hob's the real father of that house. I love him. What do you know, Hoppy Boy? Interesting. They're ready for you, sir. As always, something off with these crew. Afternoon, sir. Yeah, it looks like another hot one today, huh? Never gets old, sir. They're sending another person in. The suits seems, are a little bit different. Seems like they're better equipped now. Oh, because they know fire can get them. Oh shit! Its tentacles were like. Maybe they're trying to stop it from growing. A lot's going on there. Damn it! My mom is gonna murder me. So go on. I radio if she comes. Oh uh, yeah, nice try. You just want me out of here so you can make your move. Oh, cause you're such a. <laughs> That's right. She will not be able to resist these pearls. I oh yeah, it. he's got teeth. I thought oh, that he's yeah. got teeth there. Such a dramatic driver. They're arguing, they're arguing. God, I see that. I don't even know what you need, though. <laughs> oh, shit. Girl's got attitude. I like it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Whose house are they out for dinner? Okay. Barbara. Oh. Oh shit. That's so sad. We hired a man named Murray Bauman. Have either of you heard of him? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Oh, is that that guy that's yeah, been talking is. to Hop? Anyway, he's freelance now and he agreed to take the case. Oh, that's that's great. It's gonna cost them their whole house, isn't it? Damn, so they're still looking for her. It means we have a real detective on the case. It means we're going to find our Barb. Oh, it means you're going to find stuff out that you don't want to know. Is that why you're selling the house? Oh, don't worry about us, sweetie. We're fine. Hmm. More than fine. For the first time in a long time. We're hopeful. Oh, dude, this is hard. Oh, especially for Nancy. She knows exactly what happens. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Well, mostly. Stay's like, don't leave me here. <laughs> Oh, that reminder. Tell me she's actually gone. I like that they've continued that because I didn't think they were going to really like emphasize any more on that, but we're getting that bit of closure. I don't know. I still don't believe it. <laughs> Poor Nancy. And I bet she still can't help herself blaming, blaming herself, you know? Mm. 
It's kept it the exact same. That's why I thought before. Oh, are you there? Yeah. Oh. Remember when they said why, why are you on, on that frequent? Channel? Yeah, this channel. It's me. It's Mike. It's day three hundred fifty-two. Seven forty p.m. No way. Damn, dude, that hits different. If you're out there, say something, or, or give me a sign. I won't even, I won't even say anything. Just, I want to know if you're okay. Oh, he still believes that she's out there. Man's a real one. Almost a whole year. No way. Hello, hello is that you? Yeah, it's me, Dustin. What are you doing on this channel again? Shit, no. But I heard her voice. Yeah, so did I. Shit, that was her. It had to be. Ah, uh, help in the bin. Muse. Just a cat or something. It has to be. Nah, some weird shit's going on. What the hell was in the bin? Fuck! Give me what you like, so I got a variety. Take your pick. Whatever you want. Alright. What are you working on? I do this is the best older brother. As an older brother, I love it. Who's Zombie Boy? Me. Did someone call you that? Hey, you can talk to me. It's full drawing it and everything. Will, come on, talk to me. Stop treating me like that. Well, like what? Like everyone else does. Like there's something wrong with me. What are you talking about? Mom, Dustin, Lucas, everyone. Yeah. It doesn't help. It just makes me feel like more of a freak. You're not a freak. Yeah, I am. Oh, I feel so bad for both of them, man. You know what? You're right. You are a freak. I was waiting for this. What? No, I'm serious. You're a freak. But what? Do you, do you want to be normal? Do you, do you want to be just like everyone else? Is this speech again? Let's go, Jonathan, my man. The best, right? I'm a freak. Oh. You don't have any friends? Yeah. <laughs> have friends. We have Nancy. Hey, why are you always hanging out with me? Because you're my best friend. Right? Oh. And I would rather be best friends with zombie boys than with a boring nobody. Oh, oh Jonathan, man. He's the man. I love Jonathan. Who would you rather be friends with? Bowie or Kenny Rogers? Oh. Exactly. It's no contest. The thing is, nobody normal ever accomplished anything meaningful in this world. Got it? Got it! Will is sold. Some people like Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers? I love Kenny oh, Rogers. Oh, this guy's for the tip then, hey. And there's your sign. <laughs> so funny. Nothing. You're the meme. That's what's funny. You are the joke in that family. It's always one. <laughs> oh shit, now Joyce still has trauma, does she have face? Oh god. It's okay, let it go. Probably just a crank call. I really like how we're seeing everyone's PTSD still, that's nice. Yeah, it almost felt like everyone moved on too soon. You know what happened here last time, surely. Why are you so casual about it? Look at all the... Oh my god, the lights the alarm's on. going off and this idiot. What, what was that picking up? I guess they did not contain nothing. We're focusing on like my new details and it's scaring me. There's that storm again. But it looks like he's not in the upside down and he can still see it. It's like pulsing, like the gate. 
Oh my god, he just opened the door. Oh my god. Outside is the upside down. Yeah, I'd be getting goosebumps too, love. Oh, shit. What the hell is that? What the fuck? That's some next level shit from what we've seen. Oh my god, that's some tentacle shit. Looks something I'd expect to see in like the Justice League or something. Oh my god. Oh, he's still visiting. He's going back to the box. Oh. Some tripwire. Which he set. Oh, is this his house? Or is it, it looks like Joyce's old house, maybe? No, no. oh, no. Okay, there's code and the knocking and everything. Tummy 11 is here. You reckon? I don't know. It's waiting for her to pop up again. I'm gonna open the door, so who? Hey, what are we talking about? Egos. For dinner. No way. What? No signal. Stay on five. You're late. You're late. Uh, and it's, uh, it's 8.15, it's not 8.15. Oh, she's got some longer hair now. How did this guy just get her? Dinner first, then dessert. Always. That's a rule. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know, I love this. This is exactly what we wanted. But, but, like, how? I don't know. Let's see what this entails, though. Is she a secret to everyone? Well, seems like it. Mike says no, no one knows. What the hell? I really enjoyed that first episode into our second season. I hate being, like, in the dark, but... It's intriguing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's the nature of the show. But I get it. Like, you sort of want to know, like, what is going on. But I want to start with what I love so much. What I sort of complained about a little bit at the end of last episode and even coming into this was, like, dude, there's no way everyone's just Moved living on. normal lives. And then we got to see that, no, no one's living normal lives. Almost everyone is still affected, but yeah. they're trying to get on with it. Yeah. And I love that we got to look at that. Because sometimes it feels not immersive enough for me when... Show sort of just move on. And I love and how here they covered that. Almost been a year. Okay, did you I didn't actually notice the time? I th I'm pretty sure because Will said uh Mike said it's like three hundred and fifty something right. days. That's right, three fifty two. So you're right, almost been a full year. Yep. Yeah. Good pick up. There we go, Pudgy does. I'm really interested how like I did not expect them to reveal L just like that. Like, she's all normal. They found her. I yeah. thought we'd spend almost half a season trying to find her. Look. Yeah, true. So, like, how did Hop... I'm really interested now because she said goodbye, but really, why goodbye? I, they, they must obviously still think the people are after her. Yeah. So, as in, like, the lab and stuff? Yeah. We obviously know they can't fully be trusted. And obviously, Hop somehow found her and decided that keep you off the grid for but now. But he knew a month after everything as well because I'm pretty sure it was the time skip and then... Um, well, he was already leaving food in the... Yeah. Yeah. I don't... An interesting one. What happened? That's interesting. She, she must have... She looked like she truly believed she was going to die. But something happened and somehow Hop's taken her into care, which is what we wanted because mm -hmm. he deserved to have a daughter and Elle deserved yeah. to have a nice, caring, protective father. And that was just... That's a perfect union. So I'm really excited about that, but Me I want to know more. What do you think about her new look? Look, she's in that awkward hair phase. Yeah. Her hair looks like it doesn't know what it's doing. <laughs> and I'm also used to Elle with I no like hair. I like the shaved hair. Yeah, it's just iconic for Elle. Yeah. But it will be nice to see if she, when she grows her hair out and have it nice and long. That'll be nice to see her, you mm -hmm. know, because when she's wearing the wig, she was like dreaming of that. Yeah, that's true. But she's in that phase, yeah. But she finally still... gets to, you know, grow it out a bit. They don't need to put all this shit on her head and, you know. I just love that little moment with Hob, it looks like it's really nice. His house is empty for once mm. and she, you know, has somebody just feel safe. Yeah. 
Well, uh, what I was saying was he gets to live out that, like, relationship with his daughter, in a sense, even though it's not his actual daughter. But... They both get to fill a void in each other's lives. But what's interesting is, like, I guess you wouldn't tell Terry Ives. Like, that wouldn't really be helping Elle, and it wouldn't really be helping Terry that her daughter's there. I think Hop's being very cautious yeah. now. He doesn't know... Who else is out there who's listening? I mean, he's got yeah. tripwire in his house. He's obviously being very, very careful. Mm, true. And we don't know the new dynamics now of who we can trust and stuff. Yeah. Well, he did tell Joyce, he's like, if anything gets worse, let me know. And I'm wondering now if that's because, like, Eleven might be able to help. I don't know. I think more that he will just help. Yeah, that's true. He's the one to trust. Don't, like, trust somebody yeah. prematurely. Like Bob. Is that his yeah. name, Bob? I don't know. I don't know what Bob is, man. Like, it's Bob a seems- joke. It's a joke. He's a joke, yeah. Like, he seems friendly enough, but the guy's just like, I don't know, man. <laughs> he doesn't fit in. Like, he's a nice guy, nice dude, that's fine. But he doesn't fit into this dynamic. Yeah, like we've seen this crew go to the upside down and back. They absolutely bossed it. Bob's just sitting there, like, acting like he's a 12-year-old on a date. Yeah. Man's loving movies that even the, the, the children are bored of. Like, Look, I do think, and I'm calling it now, and I always thought it from, like, season one, but Hop and Joyce... And Jonathan and Nancy. Not oh, that yeah. not that that's like revolutionary and like, oh, we didn't see that coming. No, yeah. Like, yeah, I feel like the chemistry is there. I don't know if they'll go in those directions, but the chemistry is definitely there. But Steve, like, I, I kind of feel sorry for him now if that happens because like, he's quite sweet at the moment. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, I don't dislike him. I actually wanted to see his ex-friends because, you know, they were pricks the end. Yeah. I want to see Steve sort of square up. Mm. But I was sort of hoping that Steve would come in and, you know, be a bit more friendly with Jonathan whereas he was just like, I get it, but he went in almost too... All in on Nancy. Yeah, just, just too single-minded. It's like, dude, like, you know, greet the guys, yeah. say how you going, whatever. Like, I want to see the dynamic a little bit. Yeah. But it's nice that she's still looking out for Jonathan a little bit. And, you know, we're seeing some character development. when he walked away when they were kissing. That thing that we saw at the end there, man, that is next level. I don't know what that was, but that looked like some just gigantic... It almost reminded me of... Uh, Oh, what's his name? I'm trying to think of a Superman villain. Brainiac. Okay. You know what it looks like, but not like a Brainiac, almost like with all, not him himself, but I'm imagining a visual, could be wrong here, but I'm imagining a visual of him like on a, on a massive ship with a lot of control. But either way, it looked like something giant with like tentacles or something. Yeah, and it's creating this storm, which Will is interpreting as it wants to kill everyone. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like the Upside Down's trying to en- envelop and destroy and come into the more like the normal world, I guess. Yeah, the up of the down. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's interesting is we've got a couple new elements here. We've got Mad Max, we've got the brother, which I feel like he'll be involved with the older kids to some degree. Um, and then we've also got away from Hawkins is that girl. I don't remember her name, but at the start, that number eight. Is what we'll call her for now. Yeah, true. And they were saying she's like a, a Russian experiment or something, but interesting because... I thought that he was talking about Eleven being a Russian experiment. Like no, a weapon. I think he was referring to number eight. Okay. Because he was talking about the incident that they had in the cover-up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. right. Okay. But it's interesting because obviously, is there more than one part of the world doing his experiments? Is it... Just, we don't know who's funding who yet, because obviously this looked like a US experiment. Yeah. But now they're saying the Russian, and she did seem like she was, I don't know, elsewhere. I don't know. We well, don't they were, know. And they her, were still in America. They were yeah, they were in Michigan or something, right? I think Pennsylvania. Oh, whatever. Yeah, okay. Honestly, like, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. But we saw her abilities a little bit different to Elle, because she made him feel like something happened that didn't happen. Yeah. Whereas Elle would, like, have actually brought the bridge down. So this is, yeah. like, this is like an advanced version. But they still have the same side effects. Yes. So obviously there's limits to how much they can do. Yeah. Yeah. So the first band, I always was, exp- I was always wondering if they had more experiments. So it's cool that they've brought that in. And we're also seeing them try to contain the entrance to the upside down. Yeah. It seems to try to grow and they're sort of burning it. I don't know. They're obviously trying, but yeah. then all the alarms go off. So I don't know if it's gotten out of control. Something's happening. And the thing is, Will's going... <sighs> I don't know what to trust because Will's going to the lab for checkups and that's fine because, you know, he can't just go to a normal hospital. But I don't trust it because they're obviously not very forthcoming with information. But then I semi-trust it because I'm, I feel like Hobbs in the know to some degree. But I'm... I'm nah, I, I don't. I just feel like Hobbs not in the know. 
I feel mm. like he's a point of contact. Yeah. They're giving him what they wanted to know. But yeah. no, I think they've definitely got their own agenda going on. I think yeah. maybe they're saying all these symptoms to Will just to keep them any panic mm. at bay. They know something more is going on here. Yeah. And that's the little secret of season two. And you know the thing is, if they're manipulating whatever they're doing now is the reason why Will is experiencing what he's experiencing, I just want to get some heads and go... Pfft. I mean, yeah, I, I think that they're not able to control what's going on right now. But I'm saying if they're... Because prefer- they're going in, they're doing the flames Well, I don't know stuff. if they're going in. We saw them flaming it. Yeah. I don't know if they're going in just of yet. Well, that's what I mean. Like, I feel like they're provoking it to some degree. Perhaps, but if it's growing, what choice do I have? Yeah, let, let it true. grow. I don't know. I'm not sure it's that straightforward, but we will see. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. And if you do want to get early access to our reactions or watch them in their uncut form, we'll leave a link to our Patreon in the description down below. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you on our next reaction. See you guys.